Six Ages Gaming is brought to you by GamersGauntlet.net. Check them out for all your singles, sealed product, and play mats. Hey guys, welcome to another Six Ages Gaming video brought to you by Gamers Gauntlet. Today for a dual series, we have the uh, Necromancy Rush Italian combo list. I'm playing that uh, I played exactly one game with, so I'm probably gonna butcher this horribly. Uh, and I'm joined today by James. What are you playing today? Phallus' World. All right, so uh, my phone is about to die, so we're trying to ignore that in the background. We're trying to charge this and play at the same time. So I'm gonna be on the left, James is gonna be on the right. So James is gonna win the dice roll, we'll cut the decks, and we'll get right into it. Woo! They're good with their stones. We'll just have some way to edit that out in the beginning, I guess. Casual phone ringing. Savages. All right, uh, my hand is actually kind of not, not anything good, so we're gonna throw four back, actually. I'll keep this. Seems okay. Uh, our hand got a lot better. It's unfortunate. All right. All right, so we would go, right? Yep, oh, sorry. Boop. <laughs> Call stop. We are going to filter. Orb. Yep. Meanwhile, the world's ending outside. Don't mind that. It's a dragon. Here we go. Alright. Draw. Call stone. Um, limits what we can do this turn, and our hand is. Excuse me while I throw that on the table. Judge. Um, double necromancy, which feels bad, so. Get a cat here to see if we can find a Guinevere to start having a discard outlet or something good. Um, that robe of the fire rat feels terrible, so we'll just put that back on top and say go. All the red resonators. Add a comment. Drop turn. Yep. Alright, untap. Filter! I forgot to filter myself, jeez. It's okay, we're, we're gonna pretend you're good. We're gonna filter that card at the bottom because I'm terrible at this game. Okay. Uh... I feel like we should just have Nero play this deck. Probably. Maybe? Grab it. I still think I'm playing Vlad. Uh, second order. Yep. Uh, and I didn't filter it, did I? So I've got three. Yeah, and you played Gretel, so you should. Yeah. No, no. No, you did. No, you I did filter. filter. Yep. Getting ahead of myself. Uh, it's because of these. Yep. Makes makes it really easy to lose track. Say go. Draw. All stone. Uh, name red, because you just always have to name red in this deck with that. What about that? Um, maybe I'll draw into. This feels awkward. Uh, we want to draw into a Cheshire Cat here, so we're going to play a Rook Egg into an Adam Broly uh, and dealing 400 damage to that. So we'll dig out a Lancelot and then we will draw a card. I'm going to draw a card too. And hope, hoping that we draw into a Cheshire Cat or just another red one drop. Cut. You're good. Draw. We got the stupid Robo Fire Rat again, so we're just going to, does not matter what we, what we draw, we're going to put that at the bottom and draw the next card. And our hand is just the Whiff of, of Cities. Wait, can I discard? No, I can't discard. Damn. Go. <laughs> Add a counter. Yep. Go to two. Drop turn. Here. One tip. So, in hindsight, I'm so used to grabbing Landslide, I forgot this deck runs Guinevere's. I definitely should have just grabbed the Guinevere there. Mm, okay. Because Filter. this is greedy. Sometimes greedy is good. Uh, okay. Not in this case. Um, Although, if we get a dark source off the top, we're feeling okay. Place four of them, so I have to draw it eventually. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Call stone. Yep. Got there. Don't guiber me, bro. <laughs> Gretel. Yep. Gretel, Gretel, guiber. I wish. I mean, that's good enough. Uh, this deck does not feel too good about those. I 
filtered, did all that stuff. You're good. Call stone. Well, I play this a Guiber this turn, so we're definitely not feeling much better about our life choices. Uh, so we should probably just try to set up for next turn. Uh, Cheshire Cat. Seems legit. Uh, ugh. The literal worst. Kind of. Uh, play a barrier. Do you have any responses before I put the barrier into play? Yeah, we're going to... Into play. You know, I should know what the top card is. Um, but I want all of these things. Sometimes they're good. I don't need three of those. Uh, and pass to you. So unfortunately, we're de definitely getting hit by big, big pop of Wyber here. Yes. Um, on tap. Man, I wish I had Harrow's. These seem pretty good. So... 12 you. Yep, I said I was on the left. So, 28. Um... Filter. Okay. What do we put on the zip off? Just don't like Adam Broly Adam Broly and Alice's world me. Just don't do it. I'm Just don't do it, man. Yeah. Judgment tax isn't good enough. Um, Singer. All right, draw. Can I draw a banish cat? Yes. To draw two, discard one. Cut. You're good. Showing the camera. Uh, discard necromancy. Uh, recover. Banish Gwen herself. I don't know why that was over there. Let's cut, discard the other necromancy because why not have it all? Uh, tap call stone. Uh, Lancelot. Necromancy triggers? Yeah, you're good. So he is a thousand. Uh, go to combat. Uh, a thousand burn Elvish Priest for 700. Add a card. Remove two. Bounce to your hand. Sure. So we're doing this before combat then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh god, I can't count. I was at seven, so I got five. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. You do it before yeah. combat so he doesn't get the burn. Uh, Play it again? I mean, I want to, but our hand isn't as, as spice as we would like. Uh, I mean, I just want to make you use your counter counters so you don't get to just do all this stuff. So unfortunately, we're just going to play it again. Mm -hmm. And attempt to move to combat. Yep, you're good. Bounce it. Bounce it. No, Are you sure you don't want to? You're good. Bounce it before he goes to combat. Otherwise, he gets the trigger. I was going to search for Alice's role. 
eh. So you can play it next turn, um, do everything again, or I could just filter, actually. Am I just dead if you tutor Alice's world, actually? Because it's 24. 24, and then... Bounce. Yeah, like, I think you actually just take the damage. Because, yeah. like, I'm tapped out then. So, attempt to burn this, hit you for a thousand. Burn the, uh... Priest. priest. Yeah. Try that. And then, uh... So, no blocks or anything? No blocks. So, take a thousand. Or actually, you can just block with one of the Gretels, since you don't want them for the Resonator anyways. Yeah. Ugh. Uh... Uh, we're just going to discard it and say go. We're going to recover. We're going to tap the tutor. Get the plus five. Do you ever remove the counter to the tutor? Or untap? Yeah, the... Just pay an extra one to... Oh yeah, that's, why, that's why I tapped the silence. Okay. Yeah, but plus one counter to untap. Oh, it does, yeah. So it goes to zero. Can't count. Tutor. I don't have to reveal, do I? No, because it's uh, yeah. non, uh, what's the word for it? What? Quantitative. Yeah, non quantitative search. Dang. I lost the game. <laughs> so did all the viewers. Cuts. You're good. Okay. Uh, drop turn. They probably should have flipped him back, but oops. I don't know. Because. I mean, I am tapped out and have no responses to Alice's world, yeah. so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need a cost Which is fine. I'll cost him. And we go Alice's world? Yep. I'm gonna sh shortcut and take 12. Yeah. So, uh, 16. And then, take my next turn. Uh, yep. Don't forget to add the counters with your orbs. Yeah, can. Oh, that's right, because you tapped out. Haha, -ha, this actually did something this match. Yay! But I don't see myself dealing this much damage to you. We might have a trigger up our sleeve. Do you though? Kind of. He's got you. Unless he just has another Alice's world. No, I don't have another Alice's world. But. If you don't. We go Cinderella. Sure. And. 12 here. Go to 4. And then. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> uh, so for the viewers at home, though, so I can just draw my irrelevant card, uh, I actually had Pumpkin Witch, uh, Attack for Land Slot, Pumpkin Witch, into Hoster, into Cthuga, into the other Land Slot in my hand. Which, I'm not going to do the math, but that would have been probably pretty close to 40 with the Pump from Reflect as well. And then I... Neat. <laughs> so, Prevent one of them. Probably the biggest. We were probably just dead in a tons of different ways. So uh, we're going to cut to some sideboard games. Uh, we'll go over our tech choices at that point, and then we'll get into games two and three for you guys. All right, guys, we have the sideboard plans for you here. Mine's actually just very straightforward. Uh, Road with Fire Rat was a dead card. Gert is because I didn't have anything else to remove. Uh, we technically shouldn't know what he's going into, but we bring in another barrier as a shadow because we saw they have Regalia, and then we had three Hera's. Uh, simply because we want to not let them have orbs and getting to draw extra cards is absolutely fine. Yep. Uh, for mine, uh, the reason it's Valis's World, you start off with Alice's World and Reflect, and you hopefully catch them uh, game two off guard by siding completely into Valentina 
You obviously take out everything that makes Alice's world Alice's world, so the Gwybers, the orbs, and Alice's world, and then you side in one of each sacred beast. Uh, two death sites because you run one in the main and three Levatines because Regalia is apparently really good with Valentina 2.0 and then obviously in the sideboard you have uh, your five rulers so she just doesn't die to Flame of the Outer World hopefully um, and the five rulers that I have are going to be Arla, Melgus, Prisia, Rezard, and Valentina because they're the only ones that are uh, relevant. Machina is cool but not relevant at all. Um, and hopefully you catch them by surprise and they side out their barriers and they side out their heroes because you only had orbs. That's the plan. All right, so we'll get shuffled up real quick. Uh, I'll be on the play for at least game two and then we'll just alternate for game three regardless of who wins. And we'll see if we can do a little bit better uh, for this game. A little bit. Just a little. I mean, I was feeling fine that I was going to just pretty much like 30 plus you the next turn, but. Yeah. <laughs> that Cinderella interaction, those. Uh, yeah, that, good. that hurt actually. Like, casually making me lose exact, exactly four. <laughs> exactly. Cut if you want to cut. Yeah. Oh god. You don't necessarily want to sideboard into Valentina 2.0, especially if like their deck just probably doesn't have any answers to Alice's World. Um, and that way, I guess if it does, in game three, you completely change it up and you probably like snake the win from them. All right, hopefully this is charged enough so we can have an actual counter now. Oh yeah. It's gonna win me the game right there. I believe that. Whoa. Okay, you're gone. Uh, You're two gone. down for me. I need to see a little bit more of a varied hand. Uh, You're gone. It's not really helping. You're gone. Pitching four because having two sacred beasts in your hand <laughs> feels really bad. One, two, three, four. We have a nice hoping hand. Like no matter what, we're getting a turn one play. So me too. All set. Yep. Set ruler go. Uh, Call a stone. Uh, we are still gonna filter. Um. I guess we don't need two of these. It's only good if we draw a Gwyneth or something. Uh, and then we're going to play that turn one barrier. Which Damn. thankfully helps us out a lot. Can I go? Yep. Awesome. Uh, we are going to draw a turn. I'm gonna call a stone. And we are going to go Morgiana. Yep. You're good. Turns out Morgiana, even outside of an Alice's World deck, is amazing. Uh, so we need to just be in a more aggressive plan, so we're just going to play a Lancelot and then swing four. Six. Yeah, I'll put this over here. Hopefully people can still see that. Hopefully. I take six. All right. And say go. Oh yeah, this should be tapped, by the way. Uh, drop trigger. Don't miss your reflect triggers, people. <laughs> we're going to... We are going to play Cheshire Cat. Yep. Look at all the cards. I'm going to take a rewriting laws because being able to tap for all my god arts is pretty good. And... A Gretel? because I'm going to need that acceleration. And what do we put on top? Probably the second Morgiana, because it's just kind of there now. Uh, yeah, definitely already got your use or utility out of Morgiana, the first one. Uh, what are the odds that you have a hair in your hand? Um, Probably pretty good, so I'm going to pass the turn, and here we go. Draw. Uh, what he doesn't know is I did just top deck into the Hera, but I still can't play it. Uh, we're going to filter because we're not bad, and we're trying to look for certain cards. Uh, these are just getting stacked up in our hand. Oops. Uh, we will... Necromancy. Necromancy up. I kind of want to burn the Morgiana here. It seems like the best play. 
but also being aggressive with your life total feels good. Um, yeah, we don't want him to get the advantage of being able to filter a bunch of cards on his next turn, so we're going to pump it, make it uh, a 10-8, go to combat for 1,000, and burn the Morgiana for 700. Cat's going to do what cats do best. Yep. Shuffles. Did I put something on top? No. Yeah. <laughs> put the second Morgiana on the top. Oops. Yeah, okay. I think I got all the cards that I need. Don't tell me that. <laughs> Cutsons. You're good. All right. Am I go? Yep. Awesome. A draw off turn. Ew. Then on tap, we are going to call stone. We are going to play the Gretel. Yep. We are going to play the Cheshire Cat. Yep. Holy no Gwyber, no Gwyber. You know, we assume they took it out, but him holding up the light still makes you have to feel pretty, pretty scared about it. What do I do? I don't want any of this. Sorry, I, I won't hit a blue source on my next turn for this Cheshire Cat that I've been holding the entire game. If you hit blue source. I mean, there's a pretty good chance I hit a blue source the next turn. Yeah. So I'm going to. Pass the turn. All right, drop. There's nothing else I can do. Cover a bunch of stuff. Call stone. We finally get a blue source. There it is. Uh, so this turn is 100% going to start with a. Cheshire Cat. Woo! Um, really want to keep the Hera because of what is in his hand. Uh, we're going to put this on top. Uh, then things are about to get spicy. No. Uh, pump. Yep. Attack you, burn Gretel for seven. It's a thousand, thousand? Yep. It's like a thousand. All right, go to 24. We're going to play a Rook Egg into Cthulhu. Yep. I, sorry, I have to reveal first. I will not shortcut for the viewers at home. Show me the Cthulhu. Just trying to think if there's anything else I'd want to grab in this situation. Just double checking my hand. Pastor, for all the resonators that I play. Right? So, again, showing us that he has Valentina, we just want to be as aggressive as humanly possible. Because a Rezard's God Art will just body us if it gets the time. Uh, we will then go to combat for five. So I should be tapped. Yeah. Uh, I go to 19. Uh, incarnate Cthulhu with another Cthulhu. Yep. Attack for five again. Cats do cat things. Yep. Show me the other one. Uh, and then I will play a Lancelot for six. Play to 13. Oops. Just drew the nuts. That turn one barrier in shadows really, really felt bad. good. Wish I knew. Uh, and then I'll say go after that. Cutsies. Nope. Okay, let's see. Drop turn. Okay. On tap. I pull. Can judgment. I can judgment. I can judgment. I can judgment. Do I want to judgment? Is it enough though? Yeah, not enough. I can block, maybe, and then die. Uh, rewriting this. Yep. Untap. Draw a card. Draw a card. It's not what I wanted. Do I do the thing? And again, so Daniel himself mentioned that this deck was tuned to beat Green Valentina and the other aggro-based decks. I mean, we're going to dig again? Sure. Because I need a cat or something. 
Every day we're catting? Uh, not what I wanted at all. I mean, yeah, so like, the best thing I do is... Cat dog, cat dog, cat dog, cat? Yeah. F4 for judgment? Sure. Reel some stuff? Yep. Not gonna miss that. Because he's also tapped out, so there's no flame to the outer world or anything that I can run into. Um, and then he's probably got the Harrahs, but I st it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, you can't tap the Regalia anyways because no. of the barrier. So the only one that's really relevant is Aerodel. But you would just destroy it anyway. But still. Putting it out there is probably the best thing that I can do, because I technically don't know you have Hera. Yep. Um, let's see. You've got what? That's an 8. Or it's a mix it of what? A bunch. I mean, this is going to be 13 just right here. Like, you block this and take yeah. lethal just by Dead. what's on board. Yep. So... Yeah, there's really nothing I can do, like... I mean, the only th other thing that I could have done was play Gretel, and then not done anything else. Tap for stone, so we're probably going to go to game three, because there's nothing that I can do after a turn one barrier. Then another Necromancy and a hair off top. Yep. Yay, All right. another barrier. All right. Going to game three, and you will be on the play for this one. I promise the deck's not bad. <laughs> probably the pilot. Well, again, it comes down to, like, do you think you go back to Alice's world, because Fibers are still something that this deck has a very hard time to deal with, or do you just hope to get there with... Valentina. Green Valentina. Well, I honestly think it's Alice's world. Yeah. I think I think this is that thing where I was talking about it, where it's like, oh, you know, they could probably not deal with Alice's world. So I would probably side back into Alice's world. Yep. So go ahead and do that, and then we'll... But it's not as pretty. I know. One day. One day. Uh, one day when we get the quest reprinted, reflect. All right, so we're going to pause the video real quick, get the sideboarding in, and then we'll have game three for you guys here in just a minute. All right, guys, so we're just going to cut the deck, draw our hands, and start the third and final game for this dual series. You cut both already, right? Yeah. And I will be on the draw. I mean, this hand isn't incredibly bad. Well, turn one barrier or turn one win is not the worst, so we're just going to mulligan. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna keep this. Alright. Um, custom. Okay. Uh, we're gonna filter. We're gonna put. Windcat is just out of Gwyn's reach. Er, Gwyn is just out of Windcat's reach, so it's kind of not that good. Not value. Yeah. I mean, I've got a treasure cat, so I'm gonna go orb into. I really like a handful of stamps though, that's pretty. <laughs> Complete side note. Here we go. Pastor. Alright, draw. Call stone. Um, shucks. <laughs> Filter. So I'm not going to forget this time. Uh, I don't need the second Guinevere for. <sighs> Two turns Actually, later. I need that second Guinevere. Yeah, I know. The Pumpkin Witch we can always just tutor for, so we'll just play the Guinevere and say go. Counter. And hope that we find necromancy quickly. Draw. Untaps. Custom. More game. Yep. Filter. Go to Look at the cards. Look at all the things. Look at all the things. All the things. Um da 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 I mean really I don't have any regalia, so. That useless wind can. I don't know why I revealed it. I don't know why I revealed it either, but. Do you need the other one? From the filter? Yeah. Do you only like filter ones? Yeah. No, I, I'll fil No. Oh, yeah, that was a filter, not the Yeah, cat. that was a filter, yeah, so I gotta put something in the bottom. Uh, and it's probably gonna be the second. Look at me, not even paying attention. Yeah, it's okay. Me neither, that's why I revealed it. Uh, I call a stone. So we're gonna go. Gonna play the familiar. Draw a card. Yep. Two, three. Almost just drew the card. 
Um, no. <laughs> yeah. Grab another treasure cat, because I think that is the best thing to do. And I filtered, so I'm going to say go. Sure. Ugh. All right, we're going to do, do this thing to see if we can actually draw anything relevant. Um, I like everything in my hand, but I don't think I need a, another one of those, so I will uh, play that barrier. That count. Yep. Um, I'm going to filter because I'm not bad. Of course. I would have filtered first. Yep. Uh, the struggle. Um, put that on bottom. And then we need to thunder his Morgiana because we don't want him being able to look at a ton of extra cards, even though he kind of already did. And so I go. Drop turn. Okay. And it lets us set up this for our next turn. Thankfully. Um, I'm going to call stop. That non promo deep one. Feels bad. I'm gonna play. Cheshire Cat. Yep. No Morgiana for you. No Morgiana <laughs> for me. Feels bad. Feels real bad. Uh, to you. Uh, yep. Not anything I can do about little bit cats, sadly. Yep. Draw a card, produce a will. Excuse come, me. Come on, top deck wiper. Don't do it. Don't do me like that. Uh, six, eight, ten. Uh, no. Choice is yours and yours alone. Damn. <laughs> uh, Get to live another day. Woo! Yep. We're going to produce a green mana. Familiar? Top deck wiper. Almost there. So, like, I think I play Gretel. Yep. The acceleration. And then Priest. Yep. Sigma. I draw. Call stone. Uh, we're going to play a Lancelot with a Necromancy. And then Pump said Lancelot. A thousand! Uh, in this case, we just need to kill his Elvish Priest, and if he blocks with Adam Broly, it's going to die anyway, so... Swing at you for a thousand, burn the Priest for 700. I'm going to activate to... Oh, and add a counter, yep. Dies! Um, and then a thousand coming at you. Cat, yep. Cat. Cats on cats on cats, and say go to you after that. So, very streamlined turn, lets me put an 800-800 body on the field, which does something for me, I guess, but. You gotta do. <laughs> Cuts. Give me that. I'll cut this time. Yeah. Oop, that, you know, that card can go to the bottom. All right, um, draft turn. The awkward part here is he can go for the board control option and just pump his Adam Burley and kill my Lancelot, but I need to get his priest off the board. We're gonna filter. Six, 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 six. You're kinda useless. Yeah, I'm definitely not feeling the best about this match right about now. Um. <laughs> no light stone for you. Touch your cat. Yep. Jesus Christ. Uh, touch your cat. Yep. Oh, look it. I saw an extra card. <laughs> you go back. So much filtering. Yep.
the light source. And I just need the driver. It's okay though. So So now I can still do the orb stuff. And uh I mean he's at thirty-eight, so we're gonna do cat stuff, hit you for two. Thirty-six. Um Is there so, any filter? Yes. Okay. I mean it could kill the Lancelot. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Sure. And then just ram a Gretel into it. Yeah. For, for the last two hundred. So uh, the one that I didn't cast? Yep. Because I kind of need that, and I have enough blockers to where, like, unless you cast a pumpkin witch and it could do good. Like, yeah. Here we go. All the blockers. Call stone. Um. Cat. Yep. Uh, two in. Alright. That's the thing. That I kind of want to do, awkwardly enough. Alright, play other cat, see one card deeper. I mean, that's all you need, right? Wishing I had another one of those in the graveyard. <sighs> play an Adam Broly. Draw a card. Necromancy trade? Uh, nope. Dang. Intentionally, I have not been filtering or anything this turn either, because I'm going to play a Lancelot for the Necromancy trigger and a pump, but this lets me get another body on the field with hopefully I can pump. Pumpkin Witch combo here on turn two. Cut. You're good. Uh, draw from that. Lancelot. Casually draw even more of these. Uh, Lancelot trigger, pump, and swing for a thousand. Burn off one of, or burn off your familiar, actually. Because I don't want him to easily, well, I guess you just destroy it either way. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to kill that one. Man. Then swing for a thousand. Cat thing. Yep. Unfortunately. Incarnate another Adam Broly. No. Destroy one of my girdles. Cuts. Nope. Here. Oh. All good. End of your turn? I'm yep. assuming? Okay. I'm gonna send. Draft turn. Okay. Untap. So, like. Want a filter? This is the bottom. This is untapped, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna judgment. Yep. So you're at Blech. 36. Yep. I mean, am I just dead again? <laughs> uh, not really, because I'm going to ram a Gretel into the yep. line slot. Okay. Alice's World. Yep. So this goes here. Um. Yep. So hopefully draw a card and produce a mana. I mean, not hopefully. Hopefully draw a good card and produce <laughs> a mana. Cut. Nope, you're good. Let's draw. That's okay. All right. You gotta do... I'm gonna take my second turn. Yep. Not gonna uh, tutor or anything? I can't. I cast it this turn, didn't I? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you're right. Turn. You flipped. You can do it in your draw step. And I plan to. Draw turn. Um, yeah, we're gonna tutor. Yep. Uh, we're gonna go four counters. Four, because I can count.
Yep. The tempo generated by just playing Alice's World getting to her card uh, makes us not feel that great. Like, our hand is not anything special at this point. option to bounce something on my turn, so that seems perfectly fine. Bump this to a thousand, swing at you, target this to burn for seven. Okay. Uh, I'm going to block it. Alright. Then play a Hera to pop your orb. Seems legit. Then I have a little drop card. Uh, swing for 600. Finally getting on the damage board. Um, let's be smart about this. Brook egg. And a Guinevere. And I will end my turn. Um, I'm going to flip back. Uh, and this way we're actually just hoping to set up a huge turn uh, if we get lucky and draw a Pumpkin Witch or something. Fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, we're going to go draw for turn. I forgot to do this again. Okay. Untaps. Filter. I don't want you. What's your um, so, what do I do here, what do I do here, can I change the world? Yep. This is the better line of play. Hopefully it is. Let's this. Elk priest. Yep. And then we're gonna pay two. To remove two counters. Yep. To draw a card. The saddest. The saddest. Cost three. Wyvern? Yep. And I will pass the turn. We're hoping to get like a Cheshire Cat or something, but... And we casually draw the Pumpkin Witch. 
There we go. Uh, so I'm going to tutor and then draw to discard one. So what is that? Six, six seven, eight, nine. Oh, you still have to cast back. Okay, what you got? Three? Yep. Okay. So, I'll trust me, we're fine. <laughs> cut if you want to cut. You're good. Uh, draw two, discard one. Discard a necromancy because value. Uh, untap a bunch of stuff. Uh, do I need the extra stone for anything? So three, two. Yeah, I'd rather play this instead. Uh, no, we're gonna want to tutor. Uh, so we'll just pump to make this a uh, thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, attack, burn this for uh, seven hundred. The uh, other priest or not? Uh, I guess should play this first. We're gonna say the priest. Okay. For ten, I didn't mess up. <laughs> And swing at you for a thousand. Uh, let's see. Zero twenty five. Three. And how many do I have in here? No, not enough. So we'll do. Kafuga, Necromancy, both of these, seven. So, we're smart. We've done that first. So I will swing four, nine. seven, nine. Um. <laughs> go to fourteen. All right now I go to fifteen. Yep, I'm bad at math. That is terrible. And we definitely messed this up because we forgot that Guinevere has also a sack outlet, so. Uh, banish this, draw two, discard one. Discard our third necromancy. So I guess we didn't even need the uh, pumpkin witch in the end. Lancelot? Mm hmm. With these. Uh, swing for 12, burn Wyber 7. And then. You named Red this, right? Yep. Okay. So. I'm gonna have enough uh, damage here, but we'll yeah. play it out. So I block and it's gonna trade. Um, because I want these to go back in the graveyard since I'm gonna be playing other stuff, anyways. Uh, and there's a couple different ways I can do this, but I'll swing for six, play to nine. Yep. Swing for five, play to four. And then we actually got lucky and drew the field movement, which we could one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it was only six. That's still. But we'll say Pumpkin Witch into triple this again. Yep. Four, five, seven, another 900 damage. Yeah. I messed up and I could have played the orb last turn and then just drew a card, but I don't think it would have yeah. mattered. Oh, no, so I'm sure I play that awfully, but that gives you guys an idea. Like you were at 30... Four. 34. Yeah, 34. And I had 40. Actually, that was 40. That was basically an OTK. Yep. Um, so this deck can definitely burn for a lot of damage out of nowhere, which is uh, definitely one of the more interesting things about it. Um, it really wants to play like your traditional aggro deck with all the red cards that are in it, but sometimes you just get the Pumpkin Witch, which if you had a bunch of blockers on the ground, it would have been relevant for that, but... Um, I like the list a lot. I think it's a lot of fun to play. It's definitely not your, again, not your traditional comp aggro deck, rather, because it does have some combo-y turns, but um, it definitely is not a straightforward type of deck to play, which obviously caught me up quite a few times. It seems legit. Uh, and what about your deck, James? Is there anything that you would change about it? Anything that you would like, didn't like, what have you? Well, uh, this is the first time that I've actually played it as Alice's World in the main, so I'm a little like uncomfortable with it. I haven't gotten to play any games with it, just like a bunch of fish bowling and solitaire. But um, I really want a second Cinderella in the main board. Uh, I just don't know what to cut for it. Um, probably one of the Feastings, because I have two of them, and I always draw Feasting, and it's like, it's not always a dead card, because it's I guess it's a more aggro, heavy meta, so right. I don't know. I have to figure out something to do 
Um, but I definitely want that Cinderella because being able to clear your board um, on either turn is really good, especially in that game. I just couldn't, I didn't draw anything. Um, so it was good. It's good force of will. Always fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you drop us, uh, drop us a like, drop comments down below. Check out GamersGauntlet.net for all your TCG needs. Uh, let us know what other dual series you guys would like to see. You know, we just kind of, sorry about this week, the recording got shot, so we had to redo completely different decks. I'm going to hopefully do a deck spotlight here, too. Um, let us know what you're looking forward to in the next set, especially. I know I will be very hyped for Kaguya, so that is getting all my love. Uh, so, again, we'll catch you guys on the next dual series video, and thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and leave us a comment with what you thought of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to Six Age Gaming and check out some of the deck spotlights, dual series, and force of community videos that are already on the channel. We also have a Facebook and a Twitter, so feel free to find us there. Lastly, if you have a deck that you would like featured in a video, be sure to drop us a comment below. Until next time, take it easy.